since browsers don't know about TypeScript, we need to convert our TypeScript code into something they do understand. The current version of JavaScript with the broadest support across all browsers is still ES5. So that's what we currently convert our TypeScript code into. The process of converting TypeScript into ES5 is called transpilation. And we use a tool called TSC to transpile on the command line. Just a quick note. It's useful to have the TSC tool so you can try out TypeScript yourself and transpile on the command line. But it's not necessary to do this in your everyday Angular development. Projects built using the Angular command line tools use the Webpack bundler, which handles transpilation of your TypeScript code for you. And when coding Angular via Plunker, System.js transpiles TypeScript for you in the browser. It is good, however, to have TSC installed specifically if you want to quickly try out some TypeScript features and see how they are transpiled into ES5 and ES6. And in this section, when I'm demonstrating TypeScript features, I'll be using the TSC tool. TypeScript is built using Node, and we install it by using the NPM Node Package Manager tool. So you just type in npm install minus g TypeScript. Pressing enter will install the TypeScript compiler and its executable TSC onto your path. To make sure everything's worked, you just type TSC dash V and you should see something printed out to the screen. I have version 2.0.3 printed out. You should at the very least have version 1.8.0. Once you have TypeScript installed, open up your favorite editor and then create a file called hello.ts. JavaScript files end in .js and TypeScript files end in .ts. Inside that file, type console.log and then let's say hello world. Let's use this new multi-line string feature. And then in your terminal, just type TSC and then the name of our file, which is hello.ts. Now, if everything transpiles correctly, we should find a JavaScript file sitting next to our hello.ts file. In WebStorm, it puts the file under the hello ts file but actually if you look in the directory you'll see that they sit next to each other and you can open up the compiled hello.js file and we can see there it's converted our multi-line string into a single line string because by default the typescript transpiler converts to es5 level javascript and es5 level javascript doesn't have multi-line template strings. And then to run our JavaScript file on the command line, we can just type node and then the name of our JavaScript file, hello.js. And here we go, it prints out hello world to the terminal. We can watch a TypeScript file for changes and compile it automatically by typing tse-w and then the name of our TypeScript file. So now if I open up hello.ts and perhaps I end with a smiley face, you'll see in the terminal it detected the file changed and then it compiled it automatically. So now if I open up our hello.js file, you can see there it printed out a smiley face. Actually, I wrote hello word, not hello world. There we go. So now if I open up the JavaScript file, hello world. We can also provide configuration on the command line as well. I provided the configuration parameter of dash T, which is shortcut for target. And dash T ES6 is a flag to tell TypeScript to transpile into ES6 instead of the default ES5. So now if I look at my hello.js, 
you can see now because we're transpiling into ES6, ES6 supports multi-line template strings and that's why our hello.js looks exactly the same as our hello.ts. However, if we want to watch a whole directory's worth of files, we need to use a configuration file and we can create a configuration file with the most common settings like so. Just type tsc dash dash in it. And then if you look in the folder, you'll find that we have a tsconfig.json file created. And we can use this file as is, or we can change any of the settings that we want or add any other settings that we want. And once we have a configuration file, we can just type tsc dash w without any of the flags and it will watch every single file in that directory and automatically compile them into their JavaScript files.